Hi there, everybody. Here we are again talking about faith, and we're looking again at Luke chapter 18. Yeah, we talked on the um, yesterday judge. about the unjust judge, and when you look at this passage in Luke 18, what I really like and one of my favorite parables is this parable where Jesus said he spoke this parable to those who trusted in themselves. No good. That they were righteous and that they despised others. And I think it's interesting, it comes right after the parable of the unjust judge and, and uh, the Lord asking, will he really find faith on the earth? Well, this passage is the follow-up one, this parable. And it says, two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Mm. <laughs> That's a bad sign right there. Yeah. God, I thank you. I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all I possess. And the tax collector standing afar off wouldn't as much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other for everyone that exalts himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted there's so much to be said about your righteousness or jesus's righteousness and all that we receive all that god's done he's trained us he's brought us to a place where trust in jesus we started this out with the author and the finisher your face I, one of the key things I wanted to point out here, too, is when uh, these comparisons going on, a key to it right there, the Lord even says before he even tells the story, is that some trusted in themselves that they were righteous. So this is telling us this is about people that are self-righteous. It says they despise others. When you see someone that has a, a disdain for other people, there's usually on the right on the heels of that is somebody that's very self-righteous and is looking down his nose at somebody else to com because he's comparing them and trying to make himself feel better about himself by doing that. But that's just an indicator of how how destructive of an attitude this is. God wants us to be like the one that was uh, humbling himself and recognizing his need for a savior and not being proud of himself because he was. Uh, such a performance, such a good performer. Today, shake your self-righteousness and let's trust in the righteousness that Jesus gave us.